So today I'm going to teach you a set of postures that you can do every day, mm -hmm. all right? And uh, in fact, let's begin, okay? okay? So the very first posture that we're going to start with is something we call a full spinal extension, okay. all right? Mm -hmm. So to start this practice, hands on the thighs, okay. fix the gaze on a spot in front of you, mm -hmm. inhale and lift the spine up, exhale, slow come down and this asana is called uh, so this is tadasana it's a dynamic variation of the tadasana okay a simple movement which releases stiffness from the body mm -hmm. it strengthens the spine the nervous system and most importantly ambika it increases your breathing capacity so Do this best to practice first thing in the morning first because when, if you've morning. not slept well or you want to be if your body yeah. is stiff so great for stiffness Absolutely. besides like you said for your respiratory use. when coordinated with the breath this practice can remove stiffness okay and most importantly the reason i stress upon it so much with my students is it has the ability to increase your breathing capacity which is very important post the pandemic anyway so yes. important so the next posture that we're going to mm -hmm. practice after the spinal extensions is a balancing posture okay okay the posture is called Vrikshasana, mm. okay. This posture is important for various reasons, but mm. most importantly, it quietens the mind down, okay. So mental. Mental. Okay. Mental improves your concentration. Mm -hmm. To practice this posture, first thing first, shift okay. all the weight into the left foot. Ambika, inhale and raise the heel up. You can okay. place the heel on the groin, above okay. the knee or below the knee. Hands in front of the chest to stabilize the body. Fix the gaze. Okay. In the next inhalation, raise the hands up. Every inhalation, lengthen the spine. Every exhalation, ground the left foot into the mat. Practicing this posture every day for about 5 to 10 breaths strengthens the spine, leg muscles, increases your lung capacity, removes stiffness. Okay. from the neck, the shoulders and most importantly like we said it brings a sense of focus to release the posture exhale and release your hands inhale hold the ankle and bring it down with grace okay. nicely done for the next posture mm -hmm. after a balancing posture we move on to a forward fold okay so forward folds are therapeutic postures and the reason why they're so important to be mm. done on a daily basis is by forward folding we increase the blood circulation to the abdomen area okay. so we're working out the stomach the gut the gut abdomen right now. health okay. right the other thing is when you are in a forward fold you improve the blood circulation to the head okay. if you suffer from tension headaches migraines mm -hmm. stress from the body again improving okay. blood circulation to the head really really helps you get rid of all of these things okay. all right to practice it mm -hmm. open up your feet hip distance apart toes okay. pointed in front inhale and raise your hands up hold your elbows upper arm in line with the ear inhale and lift the spine up exhale and fold from the hip keep your knees soft or slightly bent every inhalation lengthen the spine every exhalation close yourself this posture also improves your joint flexibility blood rushes to the head excellent for strengthening your back muscles all in all a very good posture to practice every day okay. stay in this for about five to ten breaths slowly inhale and come up okay exhale and release your hands and release the legs back into Tadasana. Okay. For the next movement that we're going to do, the next posture, which again is extremely important today for our day-to-day -day life because we're always sitting on a chair. I know, sedentary lifestyle and especially if you're working, whether it's working from home, offices, you're just sitting. One of the main causes even for most of our children, issues today. Yeah, even children, a lot of them don't go out now because of electronics, the gadgets. So yes, so this is yes. definitely a must-do for those who are yes. leading a sedentary life. So, simple one. Okay. 
It's there in our ancient system. We've all, all our grandparents, great grandparents have practiced this throughout. So, malasana. Okay? Malasana. 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 Okay. Squat. So, open up your feet wide. Point your toes slightly outwards. Exhale and sit. Hook your armpit to okay. the knee. Hands in Namaskar Mudra. Elbows in one straight line. Arch the back and hold. Simple posture. Great. Once again, it increases the flexibility in the hip joint, releases stiffness in your ankles, your knees, calf muscles are working, strengthens the back. But why I think this posture should be done every day is today a lot of us suffer with weak gut health. Yes. Constipation, acidity, acidity, out, yeah, indigestion, heartburn. heartburn. Bad oh. lifestyle and bad eating habits, yeah. Just so this, this asana you think is, I mean, of course, besides the hip joint and you know opening up the hip. Very good yeah. for your digestion. Okay. Very good if you. So how suffer. long should one be sitting in this? Because Five to eight breaths. Okay. Five to eight deep breaths. Stay. Hold the posture, and to come out of it, gently inhale and come up. Exhale and release the posture. Okay, Ambika, from here, we're going to move on to the next posture, which is a basic back bend. For okay. this, you need to sit down. You need to rather lie down on your mat. Okay. Lie down on your belly. Put your forehead on the mat. Okay. The basic variation, which I tell all beginners to start with, is by placing their hands next to the chest. If you are somebody who's been practicing for long, you may take the full position as well, which okay. is where you interlock your fingers behind the back. Roll the shoulders out, inhale and lift the spine up, exhale and slowly release. This is the dynamic variation to hold the posture, inhale and lift the chest up. And the feet stay on the ground. The feet stay on the ground, ideally close to each other, heels okay. together. Bhujangasana, basic back bend. Okay. It has so many benefits, excellent for strengthening your back muscles. Excellent for increasing your lung capacity, they invigorate okay. you, amazing for your spinal health, hip muscles, leg muscles, all in all, another posture that we must do every single day. So great for the back and you said for the great beginners, for the they just... For the beginners, arms. hands and next to the chest, use about 30% of your arm strength, inhale and lift the chest up and hold the posture and breathe. Focus on the length of the inhalation. Hold it for about five to six breaths. Exhale and slowly release the posture. From here, gently push back and come on to your knees and your hands. Okay? To check the alignment, forearm distance between your knees, forearm distance between the hands and the knees. Spread your fingers well, stand on your knees and your hands. We move on to the next practice, Vyagraswasha, which we call cat cow commonly. Okay. Yeah. Tiger breathing is what we call it. Inhale and drop the back, arch the chest. Exhale, pull the belly inch into the chest. If you have a severe cervical issue, avoid moving the neck. Otherwise, this practice can be practiced by everybody. Therapeutic, releases stress. Excellent to build flexibility in the spine, remove stiffness from the body, improves your breathing capacity. Okay. okay. Inhale and arch, exhale and pull the belly in and slowly bring the knees together, push back, forehead on the mat, take a deep breath, inhale and slowly come up. Release your hip and lie down on your back. We move on to a supine posture where the spine is supported. Okay. The first practice that we are going to do in this position is Setu Bandhasana, which we commonly call the, the bridge, bridge pose. pose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Strengthens the muscles, quadriceps, mm -hmm. removes stiffness from the neck and shoulders, which a lot of us suffer from today. For practicing this practice quickly, Heel is in line with the hip, one hand distance between the heel and the hip. Okay. Put your hands, spread your fingers well. Inhale and lift the hip up and hold. Breathe here. Every inhalation, expand the chest. Every exhalation, lift the lip higher. This posture also reduces fat from the body. 
especially on the buttocks and hip area, strengthens your legs, back muscles, and as I mentioned so many times, increases the lung capacity, becomes a preparatory posture for back bending. Exhale and slowly come down and gently release the legs. We're going to end the practice with spinal twisting. Please hug, bring your knees to your chest, feet together. Open up your arms on either sides of the body. Okay. Inhale in the center. Exhale and drop both the knees to the right side. Look over the left shoulder. Keep pressing the left shoulder into the mat. If you have neck issues, avoid moving the neck too much. You may look up. Jatara Parivartanasana, spinal twisting. Therapeutic, very good for stress and anxiety. Very good to start or end the day with. Inhale in the center. Exhale and twist. Slowly inhale in the center. Exhale and so release. So how many times should one be doing it on either side, like on both the sides? About five times is five. good. Five. You can also hold okay. the posture for about five breaths. Whatever one feels more Absolutely. Relaxed. The dynamic variations are good. Static is good as well. Okay. I think start with dynamic movements and then in the end hold the hold fifth the one. Absolutely. And now rest and relax for a lot of us. Shavasana always. Yeah. They say Shavasana makes people happy. It's everybody's favorite posture. Very yeah, important <laughs> posture to end the practice with. Shavasana relaxes the body at a physical level. Relaxes your nervous system. Belly breathe, inhale and feel the navel rise, exhale and feel the navel go down. Slowly interlock your hands above the head, bring the feet together, stretch the spine completely, bend your knees one by one, roll over to the right side and gently sit up. Sit in any comfortable cross-legged position of your choice, eyes closed, back straight, hands in front of the chest. We'll end the practice by chanting Om together. Inhale deeply. Om. Slowly rub your palms against each other, generate energy. Up your eyes, take a deep breath, inhale, exhale and slowly blink open in the palm of your hand. Thank you. Thank you so much Sharon, you, for sharing this with us and I'm sure it's going to help a lot of our viewers. Thank you for giving your time and I think the way you put it, the capsule is very doable and you've targeted each body like part, you know, the posture from the, you know, from right in the beginning, from opening up a stiff body when they wake up to relaxing in a shavasana which one would, i think all of us love doing thank you so much thank you, thank it's been a pleasure so thank you